Okay and welcome back to a new video. So in today's video we're going to be working on the game map and also some of the game UI. Now this is episode 2 of my devlog for the game called My Garden. Now if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like, subscribe and let's get into it. Okay for the map build I remember a game I usually play all the time called Pet Ranch Simulator. Now, I remember the map build and I want something similar to this, okay? So I was thinking we have one big island in the middle and then surrounding islands for each player's plot. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a quick island in Blender. We're gonna import this into Roblox Studio and let's see how it looks. I don't know why you hit the road, but you don't Okay, so I'm gonna stop probably the map building here and work on some UI design But this is what I have so far There's clouds, there's trees, and then there's fences Now, let me just show you what the map looked like before this one Because we have made the game, we're just re-improving it massively, okay? This was the map before, we had plots going all around it, we had this huge area here, and we had this shop over here, full of old items. Now, the reason I'm changing the map is because this one is, firstly it's huge, okay? Players were having to like walk from all the way over here, to like all the way over there, and it took ages, okay? Even though we had like teleport pads, it still took a while. And I also wanted to redo the map because I've improved the modeling, a lot since since then so that's another reason why i'm really doing it i'm gonna go ahead and do a time lapse of making the ui and uh yeah let's get on with it Cause I wanna 
Okay, that's gonna be it for this video. So we have started on the map. We've started on the UI design, which we've done settings and the teleport, which are these two here. And we've also started on the data system. Now Zblocks is helping me with the data system. We're just cleaning up the code, making it more easy to use. But apart from that, that's it for this video. We also had to fix the framework, okay? Now, the reason we did this is because basically people can access your code. Exploiters can access your code because it's in replicate storage. So they can go to our server modules and steal all the code, right? So we have now moved the server modules into server script service and we've kept the client and shared in the framework because either way exploiters can steal the client scripts from any Roblox game which is really annoying but it is what it is and yeah that's all we've really done for this video now if you guys enjoyed please leave a like subscribe and in episode 2 we'll be working on the map some more UI design and some more scripting and we'll just continue that cycle until we start building up a game if you guys enjoyed please leave a like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one